Udlua is the latest Arigidador offering and arguably their most popular. Now, here are seven things that you need to know before committing to that full bottle. First thing that you need to know, Luwak is a coffee blend. Well, it just simply means civet coffee. I think it's native in Sumatra, in Indonesia. We also have it here in the Philippines, of course. And here in the Philippines, we call it Kaping Alamid. Why is this rare and why is this expensive? I'll explain it to you. Here is the civet. The civet eats the coffee cherries. Now, these coffee cherries are pre-digested inside the civet's stomach. The enzymes inside the civet penetrates through that coffee bean. Now, upon their excretion, these coffee cherries are not fully digested. Now, the coffee beans are taken out of the pulp of these cherries, which are taken out of the excretion. So, as you can see, it is labor-intensive. Oh, by the way, the enzymes that these civets produce reduces the bitterness of the coffee that you will taste. Upon tasting coffee luwak or kaping alamid, you would sense that it borders on the taste of bittersweet chocolate. So now you know why this one is a really rare and expensive blend. Now what does this smell like? The oud here at the top notes, upon initial spray, no alcohol, it is the burnt wood type. You would feel the incense hovering around this sphere of wood that you'll be getting. Going on to the mid notes, you would sense this kopiluwak um, extract or essence punching through that huge sphere of wood. So now, what you're getting is 60% wood and 40% dark roasted, intense, robust coffee. So it's at this point, at the mid notes, it is a very warm scent. And going on to the base, that robust, dark, intense coffee slowly fades. Maybe on the fourth hour mark, and we're left with some other types of wood. For the price, this one is $190, 50 ml, extract de parfum. I repeat, it's XDP Extrait de Parfum. Price to value ratio, we'll get into that later. For the versatility of this, I think this is somehow a serious scent. It's a serious, confident, formal scent. It is not suitable for, let's say, for outdoors. This one, this scent, Udluwa, is created to make an impact, to make an impression. It would suit for times that you'll be wearing your leather shoes. Now longevity, 12 hours plus, and I can still smell Udluwak on my skin right after I wake up. Now for the sea agenda projection, well, I'd rate it on average to above average. Of course, the initial blast of this, maybe first two hours of this, you'd get this huge projection. Of course, it dies down as it dries down. And that's it for the projection, average to above average. Now, in conclusion, would I recommend it or not? Firstly, I would like to thank Madame for providing me this sample and making this review possible. Thank you. And to all my subscribers and to all the new viewers of this channel, thank you. This has been your host, Alex, and yes, I'm out. At the end of the day, you do you. Oh, yeah, the recommendation. Is it recommended or not? Of course, it is recommended. Full bottle worthy. Price to value ratio, it's excellent. In terms of quality, it's unbeatable. I don't sense any alcohol or any synthetic ingredients here. That's why it doesn't project like Sauvage. And that's it. That's what we have for today. Now stay tuned until the end of this video to see the next perfume that we're gonna be covering. Until then, thank you very much.